Yo guys, what's up? It's Soulfight and welcome back to the newest video. Today I have another bit of a life story slash little lesson for you guys. One thing, and you've probably seen the title, so you already know what this is. My friend Marcus was over at my friend Sam's house. My friend Sam's probably gonna be in videos at some point, and you guys will see him later. Marcus decided that while he was in Sam's living room, while we were chilling out and stuff, he would grab this thing called Tiger Bomb, and it would probably be one of the funniest decisions he would make all day. While sitting there, he proceeded to grab the Tiger Bomb next to the little lamp, and I said, hey, what do you have there? He said, oh, it's Lip Bomb, and I was like, oh, okay, because Tiger Bomb, usually Lip Bomb, Bomb, the word Bomb is associated with lips, and then he proceeded to give get his finger, get some of it, put it on his lips. And at first off, I was like, why are you doing that? Did you just find it or was that yours? He said, no, I just found it. So one, he's already dipping into something he doesn't even know where it's been and putting it on his lips. That's That can make him sick. It could, not something you should do, just like you don't eat gum off the bottom of a desk at school. Sam comes in after going to his room and <laughs> sees that Marcus has this in his hand. And I said, hey, just put that on his lips. Sam's eyes widened up. He said, that's not for your lips. That's like icy hot. You put it on your skin and it soaks in. It's supposed to relieve muscle tension. He put it on his lips and he's like, oh, bro, my lips, they're, they're burning <laughs> he said it didn't feel that bad after a while but think about what if you had gotten that in other places sam said he's gotten it on a place that well let's just say you don't want it there <laughs> imagine that pain just the burn i know icy hot can get pretty crazy at times but to have that on your lips or somewhere else is no thank you i figured i'd talk about this story because i told my friends at school about it and they had a good laugh just a little side thing today you guys are gonna get a bit of a two in one today after i talked about that story my friend aaron was standing next to me and talking she got boob punched by this girl named tatiana tatiana came in boob punched aaron walked away tatiana came back aaron had flung her arm up accidentally hit tatiana's phone it she like threw it on the ground and then accused Aaron of purposely breaking it. I don't think that she should have to pay for it, but Tots was like, Aaron, you have to pay for this. What are you doing tomorrow or the day after? I know a place we can get it fixed. And that's going to cost at least $100. I don't think that Tatiana knows that you can't just pull $100 out of your pocket whenever you want. That'd be cool, and I'd probably be rolling in it right now instead of making this video. That's just something you can't do. You can't just... I don't... We weren't even 100% sure that her phone wasn't broken in the first place, and she just found someone to pay for it. That's like getting a dented in your car and then getting in a wreck that you consider wasn't your fault and then making someone else just buy you a new car a lot of crazy stuff people making stupid decisions around here i also have another story of something that happened today but you guys will see that in a later video if you enjoyed this one please like favorite comment and subscribe don't put icy hot on your lips and i'll see you guys in the next video peace